Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our mini-series. So, in the previous episode, we have already constructed some sort of a production zone here that's uh, kind of trying to make us tons of pots, but also in District 2 over here, we have completed the very basic planks and gears production area. So, right now what the PVs are doing, if we hide the water, they're slowly trying to expand this. So yeah, we're just going to mirror everything that's on the other side. But also, I would like to create a slightly, well, kind of like a small shortcut for the beavers. And right now, since we have, let's bring back the UI, quite a bit of uh, blanks in here. Yep, blanks and gears seem to be pretty good. Actually, in this zone, there's already like 900 gears. So we are definitely doing very good. If anything, we should probably pause the gear production here, put another blank factory, and off we go. All right, so yeah, that's everything that's happened in this district. We've also had a huge amount of new beavers that have been born into this colony. And uh, they do like to complain a little bit about access to the water and some food. And that's probably because we've imported about 35 of them in, in district 2 now. So yep, that is understandable. I have added a few more beavers into, into the other side of the building as well. Actually, we can do a couple more. And hopefully the deliveries will be a little bit quicker now. Okay, we do have some food, water as well. So yeah, not really sure why they're complaining, but we have our own standalone water pump there as well. So this should be should be okay. The rest of the zones are pretty much the same. Not too much has happened here. Uh, just a couple more buildings, but yeah, let's um, go into back into this area over here, and that's going to be the main focus for this episode. So. We have been talking about how after we constructed this area here, that that's actually not really what we wanted. I guess we is sort of built this in, I don't really want to say in panic, because it was calculated, it was planned. But anyways, yeah, I'd like to open up this area a little bit and uh, place quite a few water wheels in this area. Now, access wise, okay, they can't cross from that side. Let's uh, allow some more beavers into this area so we can hopefully construct this a little bit quicker. They can't quite climb down, so therefore, let's give them a ladder as well. Okay, with the middle bit here, I think what we can do is let's um, empty these areas. So you are holding metal blocks. I don't think we have any other storage in there. So, okay, we're going to have to rearrange this. Right, maybe you can be metal for the time being. Okay, there we go. And this means we can empty you as well. Fantastic. Now, let's get rid of a couple of the metal platforms. That should also net us a few metal blocks, so that's lovely. And as soon as these are empty, we can do the same over there as well. I guess we are going to leave the side platforms for a little while. They might want access. Actually, never mind. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of it right away and then that means these towers can go as well and we can put some more levees and I think the goal is to connect it well we can't connect it all the way here but at least give it a few more uh, levels or a bit of distance over here okay now <laughs> how much can we give I, I think if we have like a four wide gap here that should be fine so that we shall do and if we could only Okay, I think we can see the bottom level now, and uh, these ones through. Okay, uh, lovely. Then we'll have some platforms in the middle as well. And right, as you can see, yeah, the power is a little bit finicky over here. These uh, large windmills, they keep us going, obviously, whilst we have the wind, but... Uh, wait, how? Why? No. That's not good. Okay. How are we going to save you guys? You are a little bit silly. Yep, happens all the time, doesn't it? So, you guys can get a ladder over here. And then... Right, they probably can't climb down, so... Let's uh, make this a hybrid as well. Okay, come on, beavers. We might not need this one, though. But since there's no resources in these, I think this ladder will be a little bit quicker. Right, any bots helping? 
Yep. Oh, also, by the way, we have a ton of pots living in this zone, so that's something that's um, been sort of slowly expanding pretty nicely as well. Yeah, I think we can be quite happy about it. Oh, yep. I think some of those platforms were actually pretty useful in getting some of the resources in here, so how about we just leave them for the, for the time? How did you... Hold on a second. How did this guy get all the way there? Is anyone else stuck? No. Okay, so they're coming from there. Right. So I think we should be fine. And they might be doing this from here as well. Yep, okay. Ah, uh, it is stressful, isn't it? Every time you're building with those beavers, they just love getting stuck. Right, let's talk about this expansion here as well. So, indoors, we have pretty much completed what we were planning to do before. Right, so we do need a few more platforms here as well. It was a bit messy, I'll be, I'll be honest. Getting the platforms, okay. Uh, this one seemed to be working pretty, uh, pretty nicely, but um, getting them angled in the in the right way to be able to place them was quite troublesome. I, I want to say. Right, you are gonna hold some more scrap metal. Let's bring you back to the top level, and as they start completing those bits, I think we can unpause all these now as well. Now it's been a uh, Bit of a slow progress since uh, getting our hands on metal has been yeah a bit bit difficult i want to say okay now in the future these two are going to be let's go back again so you need gears and treated planks right so that's what we are going to do so one's going to be treated planks and the other one's going to be gears once we are done but yeah for the time being actually never mind yep let's set to you oh so that means we probably don't want to build uh, you over there, let's go back a few levels. Are we able to squeeze you in? Uh, yes, we are. That means gears again go right like so. Lovely. So yeah, that means they are very close to the, to the building or the mine itself. Lovely. The two next to them are going to be uh, scrap metal. Uh, don't mind the items we have in here right now. We just uh, need them for a little while. And then at the top Let's um, see, yep, so the plan is to place a few more areas where we can hold, I'm not really sure if we want to do metal over here, or maybe scrap, I mean, two scrap holding facilities, that gives us 360, might be enough, but it also will be good to have another one here, and then maybe a couple metal ones. Uh, right after that. Oh yeah, let's do this one scrap and then we can start building uh, more uh, smelters. Now getting this done, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. I had to change this levee wall around as well. If you remember from last or the couple of previous episodes, we didn't actually have this le uh, levee wall here. We had to build it to be able to construct those side platforms and essentially cover up the a bit of a mess that we have underneath but uh, so far yeah those levees or the side platforms have been going pretty quickly so quite happy about that oh yeah we um tried to be a bit more smart over here by using the smaller side platforms as much as we can then um yeah we we're trying to push out from uh, from this side as well to kind of i think i've already forgotten what we were trying to do here now, access-wise, I am really hoping they get those two big platforms done first. Because as soon as they do, that means I can get rid of all the all the roads over here. I mean, most of them we can, and we have to be quite careful that we don't delete anything else by accident. Because if the water flows back in here, then that's going to be a nightmare. Trying to empty this out, it probably means we have to delete this water, uh, uh, this sort of like um, the wall here. Or actually, I think I would probably just leave the water there and wait 10 days. Because that's uh, probably going to be quicker than reconstructing this whole wall here. Right, so I've started to notice that our food reserves are... Obviously, they're okay, but I think the bread is going down pretty quickly. So what are we doing here? Grilled chestnuts. If we rearrange this uh, slightly, we could probably... 
I mean, yeah, <laughs> we could probably take you. That means you are going to be further away. Do we have any spare beavers right now? Okay, a couple of spare pots and also normal beavers as well. I mean, part of me wants to just start extending this as well, but I don't want to take up all this space here uh, once we start building the beaver Venice as well. So, okay, let's uh, figure out a quick solution, which I think uh, is going to be... Let's grab you. We'll empty this space a little bit. And then, um, yeah, we'll probably try and repurpose you somewhere here. I mean, it's a little further away, but then again. And, okay, here we go. We'll give you a road as well, and the recipe is going to be grilled chestnuts. Okay, right. We do have... How many grilled chestnuts do we have? Only 48. Okay, so that's not good. How is that possible? Okay, these trees... The range isn't probably that great. Oh, yeah. Maybe we might have to expand our our food farms very soon. Okay, so for the time being, I think the reallocation... And let's uh, construct you over here. Probably highest priority as well. Uh, same over here. And then... Um, delete you. I, I'd really like to do another uh, bakery over here. Okay. Then let's grab a storage house. Delete you. I think the warehouse. Yep, we can just place you over here. That's pretty pretty straightforward and simple. Okay, another trout. To hopefully we get some longer ones as well. I think it will be, will be cool if we could um, increase the difficulty now because I feel like we're starting to get the hang of it slowly. Yeah, it's uh, although it's been a year, it's all starting to slowly come back to uh, back to us. Okay, so what we need over here is the wheat flour. Let's store this one here. Bakery and the recipe is going to be bread because I think we have quite a bit of wheat flour. Yes, we do. I mean, if that's starting to go or get lower, you can always open another crystal mill here too. I have built a gravity battery just to keep those crystal mills running for as long as we can. So. Yeah, so that's uh, that's good to know. Now, let's jump back over here real quick. It seems the platforms, they've done one of the big ones. Oh no, that was already there before. So what's the problem over here? We don't have the metal blocks because you're putting them into this one. At least, okay. So one of them is going to be complete. And second one's not too far off either. Okay. Right. Now, with the sort of problems that we have with power, I would like to put a like a temporary... I know I say this quite often, and then it turns out to be a permanent fixture, but I, I think, yeah, whether it's temporary or permanent battery over here, doesn't really matter. I'd like to have something underwater, just uh, storing a bit more. So this one's quite interesting. If we grab another one, so this holds about 20,000 hamster power. So basically, looking at or comparing it with the gravity battery over here. So this one's 24 due to the height. Um, yeah, so essentially... Having at least three or a few more would be quite substantial for us, because the small ones are only holding about 1,500. I mean, that's uh, that's quite a lot of power, actually. And there's quite a few of them here as well, which is pretty uh, pretty lovely. Actually, how big is this? Okay, so it's a 3x3. Three three. So 9 times... Okay, it's still... Yeah, this one might be might be more useful. I was thinking maybe... If they don't take any metal, which they don't, we have loads of gears and loads of planks. What we could also do, we could run long lines over here and stack them up using double platforms. Actually, since we don't have any metal right now, I think that's exactly what we what we are going to do. Okay, um, we'll leave this or save this space for ourselves in the in the future. I guess we'll. Bring the power up from here. Okay, now bring back the flywheels. Oh yeah, that's this one. Let's take the small one. And voila. Then we just have to like connect them up from here as well. I guess the front can be... Uh, what can we use? Maybe something like so. I mean, it would be... Hold on a second. 
we don't use any metal so the connection areas in case we want to bring it up in the future let's just do it this way okay and then we can do another one um <laughs> before they get stuck or anything let's just do two at a time and then in the future we can also grab the small platforms build them over it just like so okay so no one's even gonna know that the our batteries are down here or the um, the small flywheels that's what i wanted to say and um yeah gears and logs so we can let's just double check 2.1k okay never mind we can build a ton of them over here now which one's gonna be quicker i think moving in from the top for the time being let's um yeah move you out of the way okay i think this is gonna be quite probably a bit overpowered yep i i do agree but hey let's just um you know think about our future we don't want to drag this out for too long especially whilst we don't have any power at all let's just see how efficient this kind of system can be now the next thing we do have to do is bring it straight up over here and that again is not going to be a problem i think the only thing we should be mindful of is uh, not too long from now it might replace some of those platforms with levees i oh, know the levees are going from this side so that's uh that should be fine but yeah some of these windmills might change anyways okay it's not a we don't have to worry about it in this episode you guys oh, oh okay so here if we want to bring those roads through we are gonna have to let them cross over a little bit right so that's how we're gonna do it uh, this section over here is gonna be like the place where we connect it all up and then um, you're gonna connect over there when we go up uh, yeah this is where things might get a little bit interesting <laughs> I mean, right now what we can do is, the simplest way is just bringing it straight up like so. But I'm pretty certain that some of those things might have to change around a little bit in the future. Okay, anyways, the drought has started. Let's make sure that our beavers still get access when they want to cross over as well. Let's give you a set of ladders over here. Maybe high speed priority so that gets done first just want to make sure that no one gets stuck over here i mean we've got ladders here ladders on this side so yeah we should be fine okay seven days for the droughts yep that's uh, pretty much nothing one of the platforms is already ready you are not too far off either just three more metal blocks is what we need okay so what i'm thinking we're gonna leave the beavers as they are let the time pass a little and we'll be back as soon as all of this is constructed Okay, so it's finally time to jump back. It's uh, actually been a pretty long time, almost two hours in, in real life time. But um, yeah, we've uh, tried to complete quite a few things. So first of all, the power bank here is looking not too bad at all. Let's see, is everything spinning? No, you are not. And that's because we are actually in deficit, it seems. But other than that, if we had enough uh, power being produced over here, this one should be able to hold quite a bit of um, bit of power for us. But okay, let's go back up here. I have managed to complete putting down all the... Let's hide the water as well. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, we'll pull it up just a little bit. We have done a pretty nice job putting in the levees platforms and also the water wheels as well. Now, all we uh, need to do... Actually, we should... I'm not really sure why we haven't done it already. So let's grab a power shaft, connect you up. Um, <laughs> they are definitely going to get stuck over here. And uh, hold on a second. This one actually needs to be a little bit different as well. Let's do the angled one over here. Okay. Highest priority for you. Same over here. And then <laughs> these two. Pause this one for a second. And oh dear. Okay. The D junction shall go right over there, but we probably need to pause you as well in case someone might get stuck over here. Okay, so um, was he just sleeping on the floor over here? Oh yeah, a couple of beavers don't actually have a house to live in, it seems. 
Well, we'll uh, try and remember this at another time. For now, let's have a look. These water wheels are now linked in, which is great. Let's uh, have a quick look at what else we've done here as well. So, bring the water back on. Yep, we've uh, queued up quite a, quite a few things in here. So, um, I'll talk through on my plans and then we'll uh, start putting down some buildings as we go as well. Okay, so, um, right. I would like to use the levees as kind of like our foundation since we don't have a lot of metal and the reason why we don't have a lot of metal is because we don't have the uh, treated planks. We are working for a, or at least towards a solution for that as well, but but yeah, let's uh, let's uh, stay over here for, uh, for a little bit. Okay, so once the levees go in, we shall place down or start constructing the 4x1 side platforms. And these actually take most of the time, again, because we don't have the metal blocks just yet. I mean, there's four factories over here, and if we zoom over to this side, there's another uh, one smelter, yeah. But it, it's just because we didn't have enough treated blanks, it seems. But, um, right, yeah, so uh, platforms, levees, there we go, in the middle. Uh, right now, we can't place down the other smelter, because um, this one's uh, kind of in, in our way, but I'd like to have a six in the middle, running 24-7, if we can. Um, maybe four or five at the start, but we'll, we'll see. Then, um, yeah, let's uh, bring back the, uh, or down the levels again. Everything should be done over here. Right, so this one's almost full of gears, and we are obtaining metal blocks, 3D planks, and scrap metal. Then we can go up a level, and this is where we shall have a large pile. I think in the, um, or at the start, I kind of wanted to squeeze in or change things around a little bit differently. We had two platforms on either side, but then I realized, okay, the roads, I'd actually like them to be on top of the levees. By having two large piles over here, one, I think it was right here, another one next to it, we had the road kind of going awkwardly, from the middle from the platforms and same in here so then when I started putting down the bridges it just didn't seem to be like all adding up yeah we had like some uh, some levees being randomly built up over here all the way to the sky so we could do those uh, connection points and bridges and then I was looking at it from the distance it didn't look very good I mean if you look at it right now it looks I, I, I think pretty pretty all right then um, yeah coming back to this section here Essentially what happens is we uh, scrap out the scrap metal, or mine the scrap metal. It gets brought to the surface into those large piles over here. Then the uh, smelter beavers will grab the scrap metal, turn it into me metal, and then dump it behind their houses into the large piles, just like so. I mean, okay, this one's selected, this one we haven't. Let's grab some metal, and this one as well. Now, once that is done, all that metal is going to be used, well, not only in our pot production zone, but in the future some other places as well. On the other side, I think the sort of design and the layout can be fairly similar to what we have done before as well. So, kind of uh, to keep things symmetrical, but also to future-proof ourselves, I would like to place down or plop down quite a few large warehouses. Okay, that means we can bring through the roads as well. They're not the uh, nicest, or I mean, they're pretty far or long distance from our district center. But again, uh, if not mistaken, we did promise, or we were hoping, that this district, the second one, will house or look after this zone eventually. All right. So, next thing, we have the large warehouses. Now, with the assemblers, I was um, kind of thinking like we have this uh, uh, clockwise movement for resources. But then I realized uh, that the bots are the end result. So, all the warehouses that are going to be on this side. Well, let's uh, orientate the map a little bit. Everything to the left of us. Maybe if we place some uh, more warehouses or if we use these ones, one, two and three. That should be like the the raw material. So, for example, if we are using the uh, bot, uh, bot part factory, 
we need biofuel, metal blocks and planks. So metal is going to be coming from these large piles here. Then we can do, what else was it? Oh yeah, the biofuel and planks. So planks, oh, hold on a second. Planks can't actually go here. So that means we might do another few large piles on this side. But I'm pretty sure we had something else that we could store in here. Oh yeah, gears. Hmm. Gears and metal blocks. So maybe we are a little too ambitious with the warehouses. But then actually, never mind, we're not. Because all those six ones over here are going to be the uh, bot legs, the heads and the body. Yep. So just want to store up as many as we can. Um, probably too many. I mean, 1,200 pieces or parts. That's a bit too much, isn't it? So if we think about it, we should have one for each and that should be plenty. What else could we store in here, though? I mean, there's not really anything else. It's just the bot parts gears and I don't think we need to use that many gears. I mean if we want to bring the pine resin production or the um, what was it called? Treated planks production a little bit closer so we don't have to transport the um, treated planks all the way from there to here then maybe this is something we could do here and then store the pine resin here as well and to collect pine resin well here we go they could just uh, jump this side, put one of those tapper shacks down, and then we can co collect the resin from there. Anyways, that's the uh, sort of like a uh, long-term plans. It is going to take quite a uh, bit of time to get all this constructed, and this is just the foundation. We we haven't really done any put assemblers or anything else yet, so with the assemblers, I'd like to place them like so, and then maybe in the middle just have some decorations and things. Uh, right, right, right. Bot part factory. So these guys. <laughs> One, two, and three. I think we may need some more. So this is where we could place you guys on this side. Yeah, let, let's do it this way. So we're going to have six of them. Because I think we it's sort of like a one of each for an assembler, isn't it? I mean, the parts and everything we have right now... Not sure if we can run two assemblers of that, but anyways, at least it's kind of planned in already. So connection-wise, I mean, the bottom levels are pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Top is something we can do a little bit differently, I think. Okay, so this is the first time I saw, where is it? Reinfor reinforced platforms, reinforced ladder, and that's the one I would like to use. So if they need to run downstairs, let's say it's going to be here or maybe... No, I, I think it's fine if it's going to be somewhere in more sort of central location. Maybe we shouldn't create like a, a whole load of different roads in here, thinking about efficiency and, and lag and everything. But anyways, the metal platforms can be in the middle and then... <laughs> I don't think we can do the bridges, no. So those platforms could be like a slightly nicer way to connect the buildings. Yeah, okay, there we go. Roads are in place and it looks a little less busy and probably a little bit nicer as well. Now, next thing, what to do on top of this building? That, I do not know. Part of me doesn't want to make it any any higher than it already is i mean in here as well all this empty space or dead space that i've left here i'm thinking <laughs> don't really want to do the roads in there i think the access road road if anything should be let's have a look probably about here okay and how we want to do this is also a very good question now to sort of hide the warehouses a little bit, I'm either going to use some decoration blocks. Let's have a look. The hedges, but these ones are probably not really suitable for an industrial zone. Then I wanted to take a look at... Oh, herded slopes. I totally forgot about those ones. Let's unlock... Uh-oh. I think it's having a bit of a seizure. So if we place you here, well, that's a little bit awkward. Can't click it because it's probably somewhere here. Oh yeah, it's bugged out. 
I think maybe I should probably check if any of the mods are out of date. I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean, the new update is out, but I um, reverted back to the update 4 branch. So, yeah. I don't think that's causing any problems because I'm not downloaded the update file just yet. But anyways, okay. So, I'll have a look at this. Uh, let me just double check if these are... Uh, having a bit of a hard time. This block over here looks a little scared as well. Oh yeah, this is not working. So I'm a little bit worried. I definitely have to check the uh, if it's up to date. But if we want to build the Beaver Venice Colosseum, then this isn't gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna be very good. It's it's gonna be a nightmare. It, it, I mean, impossible to build anything. So I'll have a look. Anyways. So that section is looking good over here. Now to pass power. That's a problem. This hmm. We can't do the same system what I've done here, which is just pass the, um, the flywheels and uh, power shafts. And then it kind of just, uh, it's very difficult to show you guys. But uh, let me bring a few levels down. Okay, one, two, three. Yep. So it sort of connects or docks from the from the bottom and uh, yeah it just plugs in and voila we've got, we've got power over here now here you can't really do this because these are warehouses and I don't think they pass power through so I mean not the end of the world because we can always do it from the side as well yeah bring the wires up from here but I kind of did want to hide them I mean I guess we could always swap them around so what back uh bot part factories go underneath when they get the resources and then the uh, large warehouses go on top oh yeah but that's not hmm it's still not going to help with this bit over here because that needs to be powered as well so maybe we just all leave it the way it is yeah i mean I could get rid of those warehouses though. Bring the assemblers downstairs. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's see how it goes. Because it might just be a slightly better way to do things. Right, there we go. So that's uh, starting to look a little bit better. So to be a bit more efficient, I don't think we are going to need those metal platforms then. Yeah, I, I think there's a better way how we can do this. Let's get rid of the... Oh, no. no. Alright, here we go. Roads first, in the platforms. Right, so you guys are out of the way. We can give you like a private... <laughs> get rid of the roads as well. Okay, out of the way. Now, paths, no staircases. Yeah, if we use the ladders... So everyone kind of gets like their private little walkway. And this is where we are... Yeah, you can go up, get the resources you need, or store them away. Okay. Now, what we need on top is those large ones. So, <laughs> if we don't need a ton of them. Okay, hear me out. Let's do it this way. You're going to go on this side, that side, and might not be enough. But something we could do in here is the next one is the refinery. So, you can go here as well. Right, and you're connected to the power, so everything is happy days. Now, I think we sort of forgot to connect you from the bottom, so... Uh, okay, time to get rid of these ones. We have to disconnect one of you guys. Which one is it going to be? I th believe it's this one. Alright, and to patch it up, we are going to take the 3 by one side platform. So you're going to go there... Now you should be connected to the power. Okay. Warehouses on top. One goes over there. This one over there. I mean, we could even have you in the middle. As, let's say... <laughs> one of them. We do bot heads and the limbs stored in this one. Okay. This could be an option as well. I mean, okay. How about we start with this layout and then should anything change and it, when we require slightly sort of more uh, space to store everything, 
we can always just expand it as well so it's it's not too big of a problem the only problem we have right now is i don't want those beavers to run all the way around this way yeah somewhere around here we are gonna need a bit of access so maybe it's gonna be right about here or maybe it should have been the middle bit here oh dear options decisions all right so there we go i think we may just have a slightly more better or accessible design yeah i guess that's what it is not better but accessible so we have the little corridor or the walkway right in the middle i didn't want to cram it to to in i wanted to leave it sort of symmetric uh, spacious just to make sure that uh, beavers are not feeling too claustrophobic when working around these very dangerous factories Right, we still do have uh, six pot part factories. There's two up here and then uh, four at the bottom levels. I'm also connected up, well, at least they scheduled in the power network as well. And then on the top levels, we've got four large warehouses here and then additional one right like so. So I think this one actually yeah, works out a little bit better because we have the pot uh, chassis over here, isn't it? This one's going to be... Let's do the limbs and you're going to be bought the head. So that's the three. And in the other two, I believe one of the resources we need here is the gears. And if we are going to refine <laughs> some pot food here as well, maybe even potatoes in the top one. Maybe. But uh, with the refinery, so oh, wrong button. Let's go back over here. Now with the refineries, where can we place you? Because that is a little bit awkward now. Of course, we could always bring you here, but then the roads and the ladders are not going to line up. I mean, couple could go here. Maybe that's a bit more sensible, but this tower is becoming pretty tall then. I mean, at the back side over here could be fine as well, because we're. I doubt we're going to expand this too much at this stage. Because now we have the six factories already in. So maybe the refineries, yeah, could be at the back over here. And in the front, <laughs> we could also do some more windmills as well if we want to. Yeah, we could. Unless we want to make it or leave it as clean as it looks like over over here. Okay, what's happening? No more power. Oh yeah, it's the trout and there's no wind. So things are rather slow right now. I mean, we do have a few more platforms in as well. But getting it all done is going to take quite a bit of time. So... Uh, I'm just gonna let the game run for a little bit and we'll be back to check on the progress uh, very soon. All right, so there we go. Another uh, hour in real life has uh, already passed and I've gotta say, things are moving uh, pretty painfully. So I've been doing a bit of thinking and uh, look, we've, we've got quite a few treated blanks already. So that that's good. I think our production has gone up since we have introduced a, another wood workshop over here. And uh, I believe two of them are running on pots, so yeah, all three of them actually. So yeah, that's not the problem, and um, had a look, what else could it be? Okay, so the next thing that we would need when producing this, I mean, the scrap metal seems to be coming in pretty okay now, or maybe not. So let's grab this building over here, okay, so... A few pots, let's give you a slightly higher priority, actually, medium priority should be fine. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get this up. So yeah, perhaps it was the scrap that slowed down. But I was also thinking, besides the scrap, it could actually be the distance to the district center as well. Because as you can see over here, it's 134. And it's telling us, okay, yeah, we've got to optimize our paths or split up the district into smaller ones. Because, I mean, the bots, maybe they don't matter as much. But some of the beavers, yeah, that's a pretty uh, long distance. Hold on a second. I think we are starting to run out of logs finally. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's something new. But yeah, the uh, distance from here is pretty uh, pretty long, so we're gonna have to just let this game sit for uh, for some time so they can catch up with all the all the work and things they have. Now another problem that I noticed is the power. So we grab one of those wheels. Well, right now, yeah, as you can see, the supply is already lower than the actual demand. And that's, uh, that's during night time. I mean, never mind. Okay, yeah, there is only one building that still runs on the beavers and not on the pots. So 
maybe the night time doesn't matter as much. So I was thinking, okay, so over here we talked about adding some more power. So pretty simple. Just a ton of logs yet again. Oh dear, another drought is about to arrive soon. So this one isn't going to be done anytime soon. It's more of a, okay, so if you've got nothing else to do and you're waiting for metal or something else, go over here and uh, start constructing this zone. Okay, so I think I have forgotten to highlight a few bits, but yeah. So a bit of a um, low priority task over here, although this power that could be gaining from this sec sector is actually very important for us. Right, so we just noticed that we are starting to run out of logs, which is quite a big surprise to me. Right, so... Oh yeah, we haven't looked at this section here for quite some time. We have a, a ton of vacancies. A lot of beavers have passed away, it seems. What is this? Spots 49? Okay. So why don't we open a couple more buildings. Let's get some new beaver babies, if we can, please. Uh, another one... And let's connect this house up as well. All right, there we go. So uh, this actually is a perfect spot for yet another rooftop bar. Yeah, so they can hang out for a little bit and um, we'll give you a high priority as well. Let's make sure that our beaver, baby, baby beaver factories are running 24-7. So yeah, we um, need to get those numbers up, it seems. Well, it is 166 though. In total which is not too bad but i think we are shipping them off to the other district so the second one here and um right we do have two spare beavers that are or bots that are doing nothing so our blanks are a-okay here's there is a ton of them something we did want to do here i don't know if you remember but we talked about it briefly in one of the previous episodes so this is going to be quite scary but let's um yeah, let's just delete everything we have over here. Oh, hold on a second. I think we messed up a little bit. Oh, yes, we did. I totally forgot that this ground was uneven. Which means... Hmm. Well, we have two options. Okay. Might be a little bit confusing, but essentially what I want to do is... I would like to place an underground mine here. But the two options we have now is either start terraforming, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time anyways, or get the dynamite. Dynamite seems to be a slightly quicker solution to our problem, isn't it? Yeah, destroying things always seems to be the easier way to go about it. Now, the problem, however, is there isn't a lot of space here. Even if we, let's say, plop you here, we're not going to have much power. What's the problem with you? Oh, pine resin planks. Don't have planks. Right. I think we have quite a few things we are going to have to do in the next episode. Because this one's pretty long already. So we need to get some planks. We need to get some dynamite. We've just messed up this zone over here. Fortunately, we have another entrance. But that means they are going to run quite a long way around. We might have to give them a slightly more direct route from here. But... Okay, yep, that needs to be fixed up. And on top of that, we're still waiting for everything to be constructed on this side here. Then the power. And I was thinking maybe do some terraforming here as well. Wow, many things to do, but uh, let's continue our adventure in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.